Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a single tracer that it will work with all the speakers, include a stereo, mono, and brand new one, Bluetooth. So let's get started. These are some of the single tracer that I built through the years. They all work very well, but the issue with them is, are, you know, some of them uh, you can just use with mono amplifier speaker, or you have to convert your stereo to be able to use this type of single tracers, uh, you know, since they run with mono speaker. Years ago, I was in public library. And I find some documentation, you know, to create around 1980s, to create a single tracer that it can handle mono as well as a stereo. And also it can handle from the antenna of the radio all the way through the speaker. This will handle every stage of the radio, TV, and also guitar amplifier. It handle on radio from antenna, as well as a converter section, IF amp section, first audio, second audio <laughs> section, as well as the output section. This is very sensitive single tracer. Let me show you how I put this together and hopefully it can help you to build your own. And for this project, you can use a regular pen, something like this. You know, it should be large enough that you can install those parts inside. Or you can use this old scope tester. These are both from the ICO. The good thing about these things are that already ready to be soldered apart in it. Especially the one is a drag. The good thing about this thing is, see, it has all this pen that you can actually solder your part to it. So you take this out and use this board to be able to solder all your parts. To give you an example, this is what I put together to be able to operate my single tracer ICO 150 solid state. As you see what I did, I just put solder, you know, capacitors, also diode, so be able to use this on my single tracer that I call. So for this project, you can use the, any of this, or as I mentioned, some pen like this, as long that you can put the part in, it will work. All right. All right, let's talk about this germanium diode this is one N three, four a germanium diode. It's pretty important when you install this, put it correctly. You see this side that is black exactly is like mine where it's black that is a cathode you know and is a minus sign the anode is plus the direction the current goes is this way so that is how you need to connect the symbol that you see this is the way they explain the symbol you see right here that is means that goes this direction right so in majority of the schematic, this is what you see, not that one. I just want to share about this. You know, when you install this, connect this correctly so you don't have any problem. Hopefully this will help as well. This is a schematic I put together for you. Let's start from here, the signal prop. It goes through 220 picofarad capacitor. If we continue, it goes through germanium diode 1 and 3, 4 A. As you know, this diode, it has a direction. Then continue, goes through another 220 picofarad capacitor. Then, of course, it's continue. With here, what I did, I soldered the alligator clip. This is flexible wire to alligator clip. And that is marked as E. If you look at under the studio jack plug, E is right here is to the end. So that will be soldered right here. Then the resistor goes between germanium diode and the capacitor. You solder it right here. And the other side goes to the A section of the plug. So if you continue, it's going to be right to the tip right here. 
And the last one, another germanium diode, as you see, goes that direction, goes from right to left, is soldered between this capacitor and the other germanium diode. Then it comes all the way, goes to the B section of this plug. Also put down here, the part may go to the next page. This is another schematic uh, that it actually show for those of you who feel more comfortable to see where they actually hook up. So E, going to connect to E section, A to A section, B to B section. All right, now let's put this thing together, then start doing some tests. All right, this is a schematic of this radio that we're going to test. This is a Belmont Model 151. I marked in this schematics where I'm going to actually test for signals. And in the end, I will show you which pen and what stage actually the single tracer is picking up signals. So we're going to break this down to different sections so I can explain it better. Uh, the first section, of course, is antenna. As you see, I mark it here as red arrow. That is where we're going to hook up our signal tracer to test it. Also, on converter tube, we're going to test pen 3 and pen 8. For this section, the antenna and also converter, we have to adjust the variable condensers so we can hear the signal much better. All right. The next section, IF amp, we're going to test pen 4 and pen 8. And the next section, which is going to be audio section, that's the first audio, we're going to test pen 4 and pen 6. For the next section, audio output, we're going to test pen 5 and pen 3. For this section, audio output, we have to adjust the volume controls to be able to test those two pens. Now we're going to use this single tracer that just we put together. I'm going to hook up this to the different speaker through this testing stage because I don't want you to get bored to spend time to test every section. So hopefully this can assist you. I suggest very highly, you know, to build one of these. And let me know in comment, what do you think about this after you build it? I know I'm pretty happy with this. Let's test this to see how performing with different speakers. Now let's talk about some safety issue. You're dealing with electricity is very dangerous. It can kill you. So be very careful, please. I need a few equipment that you can purchase it in Amazon. First one, you must have isolated transformer to keep you safe when you work in the antique radios. And also variable condenser, or they call it variac. You can actually adjust the amount of electricity that comes inside the radio. And this one, the DEM ball tester, you can actually build this yourself. You can Google it, there's tons of information out there. This is the setup I'm using on my workbench. Uh, please make sure you know to use this equipment to keep you safe. Man, I'm very excited about this new single tracer that they just put together. This is awesome. Let me show you what you can do with this. You can check it all the way from the antenna to the speaker. And this is so sensitive. It pick up all signals. I hook it up to this Radio Shack amplifier speaker that I have for many years. And the other side is hooked up here to the chassis. The radio is on. Let me adjust the volume so you hear it. See the radio is working. So I'm going to turn it on all the way. Let me show you what this can do. Pretty excited about it. You know, through the years I built so many of this and they were not as sensitive as this one. So let's just test right where the antenna, the signals come in. I'm going to just leave it right here. See, by just adjusting the tuning, look what it does. It pick up. I'm going to turn this thing down. Now I'm going to turn over the 
radio and I start testing from tube to tube, you see how powerful this thing is. Man, I'm so excited about it. Let me set it up and get back with you. So let's test the first tube, the receiver tube. By tuning the radio, it's picking up Finish. all the stations. You see that? Okay, let's check the other pen for first tube as well. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> All right, we're going to not test that. I'm excited about this. We're going to test the second tube. As soon as I get close to the pen, I don't even touch it. It starts picking up. Watch here. See, I'm not even touching the pen. You see that? But if I touch it, you see, as soon as I touch the pen, second tube is picking up pretty clear. As you see, it's very sensitive and it's picking up very well. Usually it's very hard to pick up any signals in the first tube, the receiver tube. As you see, this is picking up antenna, first tube, and of course, second tube, you know, all of them. It pick up very well. It's pretty sensitive. I'm very happy with this one. You know, as I mentioned this, you can hook it up to different speaker, you know, any type of a speaker ready, as I mentioned earlier. This is the result of our test. I didn't want to bore you to go through testing <laughs> tube by tube. The result is everywhere that you see is red. Actually, this signal tracer, it picked up signals. Right here, where the arrow is, uh, is right below C2. Capacitors, right close to antenna, it picked up signals, as you saw. On converter tube, it picked up as well. Pen 3, it was the sound was much lower than pen 8. Pen 8, the sound was much louder than pen 3. In IFM section, pen 8 picked up signals, but not pen 4, of course. Here, under first audio, pen 4 picked up signals. Nothing on pen 6. Here in output stage, pen 3 and pen 5 picked up the signals. Pen 3 was much louder than pen 5, of course. A couple of adapters that you have an option to purchase, which is going to give you the ability to hook up every type of amplifier or speakers available. You know, of course, this is a stereo. It will work with this Bluetooth speaker. Majority of them comes, you know, with this type of adapter uh, that accepts a stereo jack. You just plug it right in here. That's all you need to do. All right, let me show you other speakers. In the old speakers, you do also have that jack available that this stereo can go right there. But if you want to use this new computer speakers, you know there's a different setup than the old one. They come with a stereo jack. The only thing you need is this type of adapter. You can plug it right here, like that. And other side, of course, goes right here then you're ready to test. I bought this, it comes package of three of them from Amazon. You know, feel free to order that. It's very helpful. If you want to use the new speakers, it's going to connect to it right away. The next, if you want to hook this up to guitar amp, you need to connect it like this, which is accepts right here. Now you can go to guitar amp. The thing I like about this setup, I can use this for any new amplifier speaker that is available. You know, I suggest go ahead and build it. It's lots of fun. Hopefully soon I will create more video regarding different type of signal tracer. They're really a fun thing to build. Suggest so take some time and build them. They're fun. So stay tuned for upcoming video. I'll be honest with you, it takes so much time to make these videos, editing, uploading, and you know, make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense, you know, if you want to follow. 
at this time i want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments you always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine again i appreciate you enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day take care if you're interested to see more videos like this uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when a new video being uploaded you have a great day